What's up guys, uh, War here. Today we're going to go over um, your conquests for Season 28 in Diablo 3. I know a lot of people have been asking me about these, um, not only in chat, so good question, Exivity, but uh, in my comments on my video. So I wanted to go over this uh, briefly and just kind of give you my thoughts on how this is like one of the easiest ones to do for a season. And I really think it's smart on Blizzard's side to make these the ones unless there's something easier than boss mode um but let's go over them real quick now when it comes to the conquest you need these to complete your seasonal journey and speed demon as well as on a good day should be automatic everybody should automatically have these regardless if you're playing softcore or hardcore they're really easy complete a nephilim rift at max level on torment 10 uh, or higher in two minutes if you even have a, a, a set build put together then you're going to crush that. It's going to be super easy to do. The next one is on a good day, level three gems to 65. This is also a no brainer. If you get up to where you're doing GR 90s, you can do that. No problem. So when it comes to the third one, which is where a lot of people get stuck is doing boss mode, uh, curses or the years of war. Now years of war, this one can be done. It's reach greater rift level 55 solo with the full bonus of six of the following class sets. So you can do six of these, right? One, two, three, four. I have five. So if I did another set, then I would have it. Now, what this requires means that you at least have to play two characters, if not more. So these are, this is also very easy. If you just play two characters, so like I play my DH, right? And then I just, I do all five sets and I just do another one. But I've seen, I've done one Necromancer and I've done one Horde of the 90 Savages. If I just went and did my Barbarian on the Wrath of the Way set, I'd have it complete and it's done that easy. So that one's super easy. The only negative is it requires two characters because each class only has five set pieces. So the next ones is either curses where you can kill 350 more monsters on a cursed chest at torment 10 or you do boss mode now on face value i think people think that curses or stars align for hardcore is the easiest way to do it but there's only a couple places that you can do it that makes it the most efficient one for me would be if you go to your map in act two which is where we farm kill streaks is temple of the fur of the firstborn there's a chest in there you go do that you can easily get it for sure there's another one in act one in the halls of agony i think it's act three or act two uh that you can do and it has a really good uh chest so it is attainable but it can be difficult because even on torment 10 even if you just went to torment 10 and not torment 16 it doesn't change how many monsters spawn so it, or at least as far as I know, if you guys want to fact check me, let me know down in the comments. But this one takes a lot of tries. Now, I chose to do boss mode because I've done this one in the past and completing this in 20 minutes is super easy, especially if you have a fast, speedy T16 build. I did it with my Demon Hunter and I did it with this build right here. My T16 build for Demon Hunter Hungering Arrow is super strong with the God DH set. I just sped right through doing boss mode no problem so if you're going to choose boss mode you need to pick your fastest t16 build start the game and just go act by act but i do want to mention that in act two you do not have to kill vidian he's not on the list now in the past i have done this in 20 minutes and actually killed vidian on top of everything else but remember you don't have to do vidian so make sure you skip him and you should have no problems doing it now also with boss mode you can do this with a friend. The only thing that changes is that you have to be present for the boss. So a strategy that you could do is if you have a, a party of three other people, you have them teleport to or go to like Methylil or Sedea that has requires multiple levels to get to and just sit right at the entrance. You kill some people, you teleport to them, and then you go in and fight the boss makes it even faster, right? Now, if you don't wanna do boss mode and have the hassle of doing that, and you don't wanna take the multiple chances of possibly not killing 350, 
then Years of War is probably the next easiest. You just have to do two characters. So I would have probably avoid doing curses and I would do boss mode or I would do Years of War, just make a second character and you're fine. So when it comes to conquest guys, that's how I would do it. Um, and then it makes, you know, completing your seasonal journey super easy. It was the last thing that I did besides set bonuses or uh, dungeons. So that's what I did for conquest guys. I know this is a quick little summary of it and i really do hope that it helps you there's not a whole lot of strategy when it comes into doing conquests uh per se because this season they gave us some of the easiest ones to do which you know blizzard did on purpose this season is just a just a you know a blast out do everything make your strongest characters a lot of stuff super easy so i really do hope that helps guys make sure to like the video comment down below where you guys are at in your seasonal journey um, or if you guys want me to go into things more detail. But as always, stay gaming, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.